So next week marks five years since the Woolsey fire impacted thousands of families across this area. People who live in this area that we spoke to tonight say they are doing everything they can to protect their property and their families during this red flag alert. Whipping Santa Ana winds and dry conditions have Porter Ranch residents on high alert for fire danger. The concerns are that um, that everybody's kind of doing their part. The first things we have our gardener just trim things down. Anything that we see dry, we water it down. Sandra Nelson moved to Porter Ranch in 2016. Her family was evacuated during the Woolsey fire that sparked in November of 2018. The blaze killed three people, scorched 96,000 acres, and destroyed 1,600 structures across LA and Ventura counties. And it was all sparked by Santa Ana winds that impacted utility wires. We had beautiful privacy hedges here. We're all burned down, completely burned out um, after the fires. But uh, luckily we have amazing neighbors and they were able to save our house. It's why residents here are not taking any chances this time around with a red flag alert in effect through Tuesday morning. This was the scene overnight in the hills of Porter Ranch where helicopters executed water drops and crews battled from the ground before the fire was extinguished. We'll pre-deploy additional firefighters who get more boots on the ground in key areas prone to wildfires so we can hit them hard and fast. Preventative power outages are also possible across SoCal, impacting close to 70,000 Southern California customers. As a real estate agent, Nelson is telling her clients to make sure they know their neighbor's phone numbers while taking other precautionary measures to protect their property just in case. Make sure you know your coverage Make sure also document what you have, you know, whatever you can control, because obviously we can't control Mother Nature, but we can control what's going on in our homes. And there are also parking restrictions in place through tomorrow morning to help firefighters access certain zones and cars that are parked illegally in these high fire zones will be towed. For more information on the impacted areas here, just head to LAFD.org. That's the very latest here live in Porter Ranch tonight. I'm Omar Lewis for KTLA 5 News.